Welcome back to this edition of Aspire. Now, we've been telling you about the Segway in the past. If you don't like walking too much, these are futuristic modes of transport. But now, there is competition for the Segway. It's called the trike. How does one fare against the other? We'll tell you in a moment, but first, here's the Tech Buzz of the Week. So digest this. Google wants to change your sense of reality with Ingress. A mobile game based on augmented reality, played as a team or as an individual, to fight the superpower. With a companion mobile app installed, you'll have to venture out into the world, collecting energy known as exotic matter found at real locations. Our in our cities is based on design. And what's more is that it can take up to six months or even a year to complete the game. People, but it tracks events. Ingress app is available on Google Play with an iOS version in the pipeline. Situated Android part camera is out in India. The S800C from Nikon. It's got a 16MP CMOS sensor, a 10x optical zoom, and it's powered by an XP C2 processor. It's also got a 3.5-inch touchscreen with 4GB of internal storage. As for the Android part, you can directly upload pictures you take on this camera onto any social networking site. Alright, now getting around seems to be the toughest thing in some of our cities and towns. Of course, it can get easier if electric cars were to come in, looking at the high fuel costs as well. But that may be sometime in the coming. In the meantime, we have the Segway. We've spoken about that in the past, but now there is something to give it competition. It's called the trike. How does the Segway compare with the trike? Here's a look. Personal transporters as a category are gaining a lot of traction and that's mainly because of two reasons. A. They have no carbon footprint and B. In a day and age where fuel prices are constantly rising, electric vehicles seem more viable. Now we've already shown you the segment before. The latest entrant in the market is the Trike. Let's see how it performs. Foldable, portable and can stand on its own feet. Trike is a three-wheeler portable transporter. It has two back wheels and a center front wheel with a steering handlebar. Essentially, Trike is a three-point leaning vehicle that can be kept in momentum by carving the way. It can be used by all age groups and is also popular as a workout. But today we'll check out the Tri-Bred Pony model which runs on a battery to see where it stands against the Segway. So the difference lies here, where the right handlebar has a throttle. Next to it is a start-stop button, completed by the two levers for the disc brakes at the rear wheels. The detachable battery is housed down the middle, which can be pulled out for charging. The body is made of lightweight aluminium that is sturdy and brings down the weight of the trike to 17 kilograms. And thanks to a locking mechanism, it can fold up by collapsing the skeleton together. This puts it at an advantage over the Segway, which weighs around 45 kilograms, and that's mainly because of the technology and the circuitry that makes it a self-balancing two-wheeler. Lean forward to move ahead and backward to brake or reverse. The Segway requires a little getting used to, but within minutes it becomes a part of you and the ride is effortless. As a ride, there is a much flatter learning curve on the trike. Climb onto it, take hold of the handlebar and off you go. It's pretty easy to maintain balance on the trike, pretty much like riding a tricycle. You know, the trike reminds me of a tricycle I had as a kid. Of course, uh, this is much better than the tricycle I had. And it's very easy to ride this because it's got a regular throttle, it's got regular brakes. And it feels like riding a bike. The trike can go up to 27 kilometers an hour, which is a bit faster than the Segway. And it lasts around 40 kilometers on a single charge, which is the same as the Segway. So both of them are pretty much at par at speed and endurance. However, the detachable battery and the ability to be man-powered makes the trike more practical. 
you know compared to the segway uh, the trike feels a little more mechanical it doesn't have all the wizardry that a segway has and it's not as comfortable as a segway you do feel the jerk on your knees especially when you're going over bumps between the trike and the segway um uh, this one is a much more viable option and that's because it costs 1 lakh 25000 rupees uh, which is one fourth the price of the segway it does have certain other advantages of course it can be packed into a car the battery can be removed and charged separately and having said that the segway even though it's way more expensive It feels like a part of you because it's got the technology and the circuitry to balance on its own. So it's more effortless. The conclusion, the Segway is way cooler, but for the price, the trike gets the job done. So that perhaps is a glimpse into the future the way transportation can be. It beats walking for sure, but it also cuts down the exercise that you normally get. So we are compensating that by showing you a new suspension fitness routine. It's called Rip 60. It'll get you in shape in 60 days. We'll tell you about that when we return. Do stay with us.